break, continue, continue, break, which one should I use? Don't worry, after this video you're gonna know the answer. Alright, so first of all, you can use break and continue, which are two statements, only in loops, like for loops, while loops, etc. And today I'm actually going to use a while loop, but keep in mind that you could use them in for loops as well, okay? So I'm gonna explain you how they work, and for each of them I'll also give you a little example and a more real world use case, all right? So, first of all, let's talk about break, okay? So break is a statement, as I said, and when Python encounters a break statement, it exits the loop straight away and carries on with the code after it, even if the condition of the while loop was still true. So let's have a look at a little example. So I'm going to import time because I am going to need it later. So break, okay. So let's start with a number equal zero. And then I'm going to use while true loop, okay. So it actually loops indefinitely. So if number is equal to six, I'm going to use break else. I'm going to print the number, okay, and then at the end, I'm going to add one to the number. I'm going to stop the code for half a second, okay, so it doesn't actually go so fast. And then I'm going to print once we are out of the loop, of the loop. All right, I'm going to save it. So let's have a look at that, and then I'm going to explain you how it works. So let's run this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, out of the loop. Okay, so basically it starts with number 0, and then it starts the loop. The number is not 6, so it's going to print the number, and then it's going to add 1, and then the time slip, and then over again. So when number is actually equal to 6, then break is sort of executed all right so basically it goes down here number is equal to six break at this point python will exit the loop straight away so it's not going to do this it's not going to do this nothing it's going to jump from here to down here as you can see six has not been printed because from here it went straight down here so this is actually how break works let's clear this so now we're going to have a look at continue. All right, so continue. So continue is a little bit different. It's still a statement, of course. And when Python encounters a continue statement, it starts a new cycle without completing the current one, basically. So instead of exiting the loop entirely, it starts a new iteration. So let's have a look. Let's write a number, then again, while true, I'm gonna print the number straight away, then I'm gonna check if the number is equal to six again. I'm gonna add one to the number and then continue. Then I'm going to print a little line like that. And then if number is equal to 10, I'm actually going to break, okay, because I don't want it to loop forever. Then here, I'm still going to add one, and then time slip half second. All right, perfect. And then down here, we can actually print loop. Let's save it. And let's try to run this and then I'll explain. So Python break continue. Let's have a look. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Right. Okay. So as you can see, here you've got 1, the line, 2, the line, 3, the line, 4, the line, 5, the line, and then 6 and 7 without the line. Why? because Python goes down here, it prints a number, then if the number is six, 
he has the number and continue. What does it mean? That when the number is actually six, it goes down here, it adds one and then continues. So this code is not actually run, okay? But Python will start the loop over, skipping all of this code, okay? So when number is one, two, seven, etc., Python will go down here, print the number. This is not true, so it, it skips this part of code and then prints the line, etc., etc. Perfect. So this is the difference between continue and break. So continue starts the loop over without completing the remaining part of the code, and break actually exits the loop. Okay. So this is the difference. I'm gonna clear this. Perfect. I'm gonna actually comment this out and now we are gonna have a look at a real world use case right a real world example so it's gonna be a little game well not really a game you know only the structure of it so let's start with a loop so well true again and I'm gonna print a line print game all right I'm going to print another line and then I'm going to print welcome to level one. All right, print another line and then here there should be the code for the level. I'm not actually going to, to write that. So here the code for the level one. Okay, so here there would be the logic of the game of the level one, of course. I'm going to print another line and then here the interesting part so press enter to continue enter x to exit or r to restart all right perfect and then i'm actually going to get the command from the user, so input, and then I'm gonna write a little arrow, all right? So now, if user command is equal to x, I'm going to break. Then, if the user command is equal to r, I'm going to continue. So we could actually try to run the code right now. So basically, the while true is actually the game, you know, the game running. And then if you break, you actually go out of the loop. It sort of exits. If you continue, it starts over from the beginning. Okay. So here we could actually write like, see you soon. Actually, going to print a little space up here like that. So let's try to run this code and see how it works. So Python break continue game. All right, welcome to level one. And here's the level. So let's pretend that you actually completed the level one. So let's say, all oh, right, I don't want to play this game anymore. So X. See you soon. As you can see, exits. Let's try again. So let's say, ah. Oh, well, I just want to do the level one one more time. So R, as you can see, it starts over from the beginning, which is pretty good. So X again, see you soon, right. So let's keep going. Now let's say that you want to add a level two, right? So I'm actually going to copy this bit like this. All right, like that. Temptation. So welcome to level two. Here's the code for level two. So here's exactly the same, but we can actually enter to continue. So I'm going to save that up here, rerun the code. I just want to, you know, go ahead and go to level two. Enter. Welcome to level two. Here's the code for level two. Press enter to continue, etc, etc. So now we can exit, all right? Perfect. I'm actually adding a little space up here because I don't want things to, you know, stuck together. All right. 
Okay, now let's say that we want the third level to actually be the last level. So I'm gonna print, I'm going to copy this again. Right, it's the indentation. Welcome to level three. Here the code for level three. And then I'm going to actually print the end. And then I'm gonna break because this is actually the last level. So at the end of this, we actually want to break and say, see you soon. You've completed the whole game, so see you soon. Level one, level two, level three, then the end. So let's try that out. Okay, so, so Python, level one, level two, level three. Here the code for level three. And then the end, see you soon. So you actually exited the game at the end of the third level, right? So everything is working. I hope that this actually helped you understand how to use break and how to use continue and how they are different. Hopefully now you can start using them inside your loops because they are pretty useful. Maybe you're gonna use break more than continue, but continue is also a good statement to use whenever you come across things like that. All right, so I'm gonna close this and this as usual, and that's it.